Okay, let's just try to understand how it gets to apply implicit differentiation to exponential functions. Okay, so if you look at uh, this case, we have uh, this as our function. And then, of course, we want to determine the derivative, of course, in respect to, to x, dy dx, y respect to x. Okay, so we know the basic standard of differentiating a function. Some of the basic things that I would have to remind you is uh, if you are differentiating a term x to the power 3, all you just have to do is multiply the power by the coefficient, okay? So there's a 1 there, 3 by 1 gives us a 3, and then the power would have to reduce by a 1, so it becomes 2. That's how we differentiate the normal functions, okay? Now, I would have also to remind you to say if you have a constant, Constants, of course, becomes zeros. And then, of course, uh, let me talk about the exponential. So if you have, if the power x, its derivative is what? Multiply the original function by the derivative of a power. So you agree with me that the derivative of x is 1, so the derivative remains the same. Now, the moment I put, let's say, let me put 2x. Now, I'm saying the derivative of an exponential function is multiply 2 right so multiply the derivative of a power to the original function so a derivative of 2x is 2 so we have 2e to the power 2x so that is how we differentiate the exponential functions now with the understanding of the basic differentiation and of course uh, the exponentials we can straight away go away to go and deal with uh, our question now if you are new to implicit differentiation i would advise you to watch a video okay with a tag on top and also, the link is provided in the description. You can watch that video on implicit differentiation. Okay, so just to give you a background, if you have 2x uh, y squared, okay, plus, I can add something else, let's say x squared, and then I say 3y cubed. You know, if you get to observe this case, uh, you want to differentiate the function in respect to x dy dx of course and then you cannot make y the subject we call that implicit you can't make something the subject okay so that's what we are trying to talk about in this case so how do we differentiate it in case where we have an exponential function okay so having an exponential function as we are given in this case it is going to be very simple so I know this is easier, but it's easier. I'll focus more on the middle part, first of all. We try to work out, which is e, right? So we have e to the power x to the power 3, y to the power 3, okay? So I emphasize to say the derivative of an exponential function with a base e, just multiply the derivative of the power to the original function. So I just have to multiply the derivative of what? So the derivative of the power, which in this case is x3, y to the power 3. And then again, it's the function itself, which is e, x to the power 3, y to the power 3, right? Okay. So we need to find the derivative of this. Okay. So we have a product of two different things. Okay. So how do we handle that? So this requires you to understand the product rule. If you've not, and if you don't know, about product free, you can also watch a video provided in the link. The link is in the description. Okay, so product rule tells us to say that if you have two functions multiplying, in this case we have got x to the power 3 and y to the power 3. I will not write any formula here, I'll just go direct. So you can get any term to be the first term to start with. In this case, I'll start with x to the power, I'll start with y to the power 3. And then I'll have to multiply it against the derivative of the other part. So what is the derivative of x to the power 3? So I explained how to differentiate the functions, right? It's going to be 3x to the power 2. The power reduces by 1. The power multiplies the coefficient. Okay? Plus. So that's the product rule. Now, in the first part, we had started with y to the power 3. In this case, we're going to start with x to the power 3. And then multiply the derivative of what? The other part. So the other part in this case is y to the power 3. So if you differentiate y to the power 3, ignoring the fact that it's a y, you get 3y what? Squared. 
Now, the fact that it is y and we are differentiating in respect to x, would have to add dy dx. Okay, so simplifying all this, uh, what do we remain with? So we'll have 3x squared y to the power 3 plus. So there equally we can say we have 3y squared x to the power 3 dy dx, right? Okay. So I can allow me to erase and create just some space there. Okay, at this point where we are, we've determined the derivative of uh, this guy, which is our power, right? So we can just quickly substitute in. Okay, so I'll go back to the original function. So dy dx. So of course, <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a zero there. It's got to zero. So what is the derivative of x to the power 3? We talked about the derivative. It's what? 3x to the power 2. The power reduces by 1. Of course, the power first of all applies the coefficient 1. Now, the middle part. I said when differentiating exponential functions, you just have to differentiate the power. So the derivative of the power is exactly what we have on the bottom there. If you differentiate x to the power 3, y to the power 3. So we have 3x squared y to the power 3 plus... 3y squared x to the power 3 dy dx. Now, you'd have to multiply everything there. Multiply by what? The original function itself, which is e to the power x to the power 3 y to the power 3. That's how you differentiate exponential functions. And then the deriv derivative of a constant is just a 0. Okay, ultimately, this is what remains. Now, whenever we're dealing with uh, implicit differentiation, after you perform the differentiation, you would have to make dy dx to be the subject of a function or expression that you get to have. So remember, we have got a function multiplying everything in the brackets, right? So we can basically get to expand. So we have 3x squared plus uh, 3x squared y to the power 3, which is like the first term, multiplied by e, which is now coming from outside. And then again plus 3y squared x cubed times y dx. And then now also times e x to the power 3, y to the power 3 equal to 0. So our goal is to make the part with y dx a subject. So everything else goes the other side. So we remain with 3y squared x cubed dy dx. And then we have e to the power x to the power 3, y to the power 3 is equal to. So these two terms are going to the other side. They will become negative, right? So we have negative 3x squared, negative 3x squared y cubed exponential x to the power 3 y to the power 3 okay so at this other point where we've moved now it becomes easy to simplify it because we've almost made dy dx the subject so all we just have to do is divide by this part and that part okay so after doing that what do we expect to have so we can say our dy dx is going to be the left part, which is negative 3x squared minus 3x squared y cubed e x to the power 3, y to the power 3. And then we are dividing by what? This 3y squared x cubed and then exponential x to the power 3 y to the power 3. Okay, so at this very point, we've made uh, dy dx to be the subject of the formula. So we've differentiated, we've differentiated using the implicit differentiation. And then just one more question to make sure that everything we've done is stuck. Okay, so this is the second practice question. So we have 5y squared plus 2x plus e to the power 3xy. How do we get to 
differentiate this. Okay, so implicit differentiation. I will go direct. 5y squared. That will give us 10. 2 times 5 is 10. The power reduces by 1. It will be y to the power 1. So the fact that we are differentiating in respect to x, y in respect to x, would have to multiply by dy dx. Plus. So 2x, this is just we are differentiating x, which we are interested in to just be a 2. And then the other part where we have exponential. So I said when you are dealing with exponential, you would have to first of all determine the derivative of a power. In this case, the power is 3xy. So we have products of two functions. Okay, we can say we have 3x and also y. So what is the derivative of 3x? It is a 3. And then what is the derivative of... Uh, oh, we'd have to multiply by the other part, which is just y. Plus, what's the derivative of y? So the derivative of y, the power 1 is just going to give us see? 1 times dy dx. Why am I saying multiply by dy dx? Because we are differentiating y. So it's dy dx. And then what's, we multiply by the other part, which is 3x, right? It's, it's that simple. So this is product rule. So the derivative that we have gotten, we're therefore supposed to multiply it uh, against the original exponential function. So the original exponential function is e to the power 3xy. So at this point where we have reached, we are now at liberty of trying to make a dy dx a subject. Before we could get to do that, we would have to expand the other term. So we have 10y dy dx uh, plus 2. So we have 3y multiplying by the exponential function to be 3y. So of our exponential function. And then this part as well. 3x multiplied by the exponential. And then of course not forgetting our dy dx equal to 0. So if you try to look at what we have, our main parts are having the exponent, the dy dx. Those are the two parts, right? So those ones are going to remain on the left hand side. So obviously we have, uh, I can directly factorize dy dx without wasting much of your time. So dy dx, and then remain if the first term is 10y, and then, then the other one is 3x uh, exponential 3xy equal to what is going the other side of just these two terms so I have minus 2 minus 3y e 3x the power y or e to the power 3xy so at the point where we've reached um, we can just divide both sides so ultimately we're just going to remain with uh, 10y plus 3x e to the power 3xy. So that is basically how simple it is to determine the, the derivative of exponentials using implicit differentiation. Okay? So just like I said, if you want to understand more how we go about the implicit differentiation, check out the video in the description and also understand more about the product rule. To make things easier, I do get to deal with this concept. So thank you very much for taking some time to watch this video.